Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara of the Animal Wisdom Circle and drkaragubbins.com. And today we are tapping on fifth chakra issues. Yay, get rid of that stuff. So this is um, a great video for you if you feel like you hold yourself back from speaking up or saying what you want to say or asking for what you need or feel like anybody cares about, you feel like nobody cares about what you have to say, um, then we're going to tap on all those things and clear them so that you can get to the truth, which is that you matter, you have a valuable contribution, and um, we need to hear your voice. Okay, so this, this tapping sequence is based on the wisdom of the peacock, and the peacock is really about contributing to the community and sharing your message with the world and selfless service, um, much like many of the animals um, that we've tapped with in here, um, including the bumblebee for sure, um, is all about selfless service. So definitely some themes out there in the animal kingdom, but today it's all about the fifth chakra and your voice and speaking your truth. So taking your own well-being into your own hands, taking responsibility for your own well-being, let's start with a setup phrase, okay? So even though I have these fifth chakra issues, I still love and accept myself. Even though I've been censoring myself and holding myself back, I'm choosing to heal that today. And finally, even though I feel like nobody cares about what I have to say, I'm choosing to find my voice and speak my truth now. And then moving to the points, all of this pressure in my throat, all these words I haven't said, all these things that I want to say, but I've been censoring myself, holding myself back, who am I to say these things? What will happen if I say that? I can't say that. What if people don't like me if I speak my truth? What if I piss somebody off by speaking up for myself? All this fear of what if, all this fear of what might happen, holding myself back from speaking my truth, holding myself back from using my words. I forgive myself for buying into the misunderstanding that my words don't matter. The truth is, I have a lot to say and contribute, and my words have value. Even if nobody else sees their value, I see their value. I'm choosing to say what I need to say at the right time. All this tightness in my throat, all this pressure, all these fifth chakra issues about expressing myself. I'm choosing to take some pressure off myself. Just letting a little bit of that pressure go. Letting go of my fear and worry about what people will say, how people will react, knowing that that's theirs. What they think and say and do is on them, not on me. What's on me is speaking up for myself. That's my responsibility. I'm choosing to do that more gracefully, more easily, more often. Because I love and accept myself and I have something to say. My words are valuable. Sorry, I got an itch. My words have meaning. I'm contributing when I speak up. They don't know how I feel until I tell them. 
it's up to me to communicate what's inside of me. So I'm choosing to use my voice and I'm choosing to do it in a way that honors myself and the person I'm talking to. All these words that I'm going to say in the future, I'm choosing to let them out. I'm choosing to speak my truth, to contribute to my community, to find a way to proudly proclaim my message to the world. I'm going to do what I'm here to do, and that includes speaking up. I'm not alone. I'm a leader. I lead with my voice. I lead with my words. We all are contributing to our community. Each one of us is a piece of the puzzle. And I'm choosing to play my part and contribute my piece. Finding peace in speaking my truth. Letting go of anything that was holding me back from recognizing and speaking my truth. I'm choosing for it to be easy, simple, and clear to use my voice, sharing my message with the world, seeing my value in my words, I'm open to a new way of being and speaking in the world. And then just allow that to come to completion. Taking a deep breath and letting it out. And just allow that energy to move through your body, filling all those places that were locked up, holding back your voice and now they're open. And so now all that energy can move through you. Take the power and the message and the wisdom of the peacock with you as you go through the day, bringing yourself fully to your community, speaking your truth, sharing your message, doing what you're here to do. And if you feel called, come join us in the Animal Wisdom Circle because we connect with a different animal each month. We take their wisdom and we apply it to our lives. So we find out the ways that we're already doing that and we see where we're, we're caught up in not doing that, where we have the opposite of that spiritual guidance. And we clear it using EFT and other techniques. So um, it's a great way to get some spiritual guidance in your life without any dogma. It's all about you and your truth and it's a really positive, supportive community. So I hope you'll join us, animalwisdomcircle.com. Have a great day.